If you've just bought a new bike or are getting a bit bored of the way yours is looking, these fairly cheap upgrades will be the perfect way to get you and your bike looking fresh on the trails. So let's get on to the first one now. Grips are one of your three points of contact on your bike and they make a huge difference to the comfort and progression of your riding. Grips can range from around £5 all the way up to about 50 For the best mix of quality and price, we would recommend looking for somewhere around the £25 mark. There is also a huge range of colours of grips and cool styles to pick from. Next is tyres. A good set of tyres will stop you from sliding around in these wet winter conditions. Depending on what type of riding you're doing, you want to look at the tread of the tyre you're buying and also the compound that it's made of. For example, a downhill tyre will be virtually bomb proof on the trail, but will not be as fast rolling as something such as an XC tyre. On longer rides, a comfortable seat is essential to being able to enjoy the ride and keep going for longer. There are infinite unique designs and colour patterns with seats that can make your bike stick out from the rest. One great idea of a seat is the Oi Oi range, which comes in cool camo designs. The best way to feel secure on a bike is by having some good quality pedals. The two types of pedals there are are flat and clipless pedals. For beginners, it's highly recommended to go with the flats as they allow you to quickly take your feet off as you're not attached to the bike in case of a crash. On the other hand, it is more efficient for longer rides with clipless pedals as you not only can push down on the pedals but pull up as well. A common debate in the mountain biking community is which is the best bar width. You can either have carbon or aluminium bars, carbon being the more priced of the two but aluminium being more cost effective. The reason carbon is more expensive is because it's been proven as far stronger and stiffer than aluminium. We would avoid buying second-hand carbon bars that are over a few years old though, as they can potentially have little cracks in them that you cannot see. Valve caps don't have any performance benefits, but they do give a nice colourful boost to your bike. With a wide variety of colours available, you should be able to find some to match your colour scheme. We think it's best to buy the plastic ones, as they are cheaper and the metal valve caps can go crusty over time, which doesn't happen with the plastic ones. When riding down rough trails, rocks and sticks can fly up and hit the paintwork on places such as the down tube and the chainstay of your bike. To make sure these don't damage the paintwork, there are different coloured pads and sheets which you can use to give your bike a splash of colour and protection. On the other hand, if you want to keep a stealthy look on your bike, then invisible frame protection kits are also available. Loose cables bouncing around and making noise on your bike when you're going down the trail can be very annoying and loud. They're also untidy and just not very nice to look at really. The first thing you want to do to fix this is make sure all your cables have a sensible route to their destination. To then secure them, you can use cable ties which can also match the colourful accents on your bike. A clean and simple cockpit on a bike's bars not only looks good, but also makes your ride simple and easy if you're starting as a beginner. Getting your brake levers and shifters in the right place for you is also good for safety and accessibility. And also, unless it's really needed, those loose bells are not needed for flying down the trails. Usually when you buy new parts, companies will put in some cool stickers for you to put on your bike. And unless you want your bike as all one block colour, you should use these to make your bike stand out from the rest. They also show all the custom brands and parts you have on your bike and ways that you've upgraded it over time. So, that was our top 10 inexpensive ways to improve the performance and looks of your bike. So get saving up, and finally, thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya!